in my previous videos, I talked about a training to failure or training past failure and how I try to avoid it as much as I can. Um, what I'm mostly talking about is say you're doing a set of 10 reps and if your 10th rep you think it's going to be bad form or you think it's um you can't complete it then i would stop the set right away and that's how i approach most of my training sets and when it comes to past failure what i mean is i do not um, have a spotter or I do not use bad form to finish an extra few reps and what I mean by using bad form it means uh, using my lower back or all of a sudden I'm using more hip drive when I'm not planning to use hip drive for that set to um, get myself some more reps but when it comes to approaching um, uh, maxes uh, single rep max there are times I cannot even do the lift. And that's okay. It just means that I have to work on something. Then I'll do um, other type of uh, exercises to, um, in case I'm overtrained. So if I might be bored of a certain exercise, so that, that way I rotate it. Or I might have to go easy on the next few days and work out some of my weaknesses. If glutes happen to be my weakness in the deadlift, I would uh, do more glute exercises for the next couple of sessions. And then I'll attempt a, a near max or a near double again. That's the only way to figure out what your one rep max is for most lifts, is you gotta just do it. Chances are you'll fail at them, so it doesn't mean you give up on it, you give it another try again. Like today, I had um, several failed sets. I did a um, behind the back deadlift today, and I wanted to see what would happen if I deadlifted um, with a closer grip, with more weight. Because uh, when I deadlift with a, a wider grip, I cannot use as much weight. And because of the closer grip, I'm actually a little bit higher, and it's easier to hold on to the bar. But I failed, so it doesn't mean I give up on it. I give it about two tries. In my afternoon workout, I try to do farmer walks uh, with uh, five pounds more for each side than my previous attempt, and I couldn't lift the bar up today. So it tells me that I'm either overtrained, I'm tired, or that I have some weaknesses that I need to work on. It might also be possible I'm not really uh, focused today while I'm working out. But it doesn't mean I give up on it. I just give it another attempt. The type of failure I do not agree with that most bodybuilders do is if you're doing a set of, say, 10 reps and your last rep happens to be bad form that is uh, completely different than your first 9 reps, or you put yourself in a very vulnerable position to uh, finish the set. Or you get your spotter to help uh, bring up the weight and then you crank out an extra like three reps with the spotter. That's the type of failure I do not approach. I don't use the typical train to failure types bodybuilders use because it overloads the nervous system to the point that it takes a lot longer to recover the muscles will become overly sore and I don't use soreness as an indicator that I just had a great workout. I just use that as an indicator that I worked out hard but it doesn't mean it's a smart workout. Because of the training frequency I train at, uh, training like a bodybuilder to failure um, it doesn't work for many people. It never worked for me when I was in school. The, one, the sets I improved on in school were the ones I did not uh, go past failure. Like there were times I approached failure, I stopped the set right away. But when trying to overload um, uh, biceps with negatives after a set, I made no progress 